Well, whether it's in the privacy of your own home or when you're out in a social setting, many people enjoy a good drink from time to time. It could be wine, beer, or even a spirit. But do you ever stop to think about how it was made or perhaps where it came from? Well, Brian stopped by a distillery in St. Michael's to find out what it takes to make a popular alcoholic beverage and the process from the beginning to the bottle. On the outside, this building in Talbot County looks like an ordinary warehouse. But what's going on inside is anything but ordinary. You're looking at a full-fledged distillery. In my first job out of college, I actually went and worked for a small brewery distillery in New England. And that was actually where I learned to distill. And um, then I kind of fell in love with the process. Ben Lyon is the owner of the Lyon Distilling Company in St. Michael's. His girlfriend, Jamie Winden, is the other half of this operation, a venture that began a year ago. Many distilleries take a couple of years to get started, so every time I would become impatient or get frustrated with how long things were taking, weeks or months, Ben would have to remind me, Jamie, this is this is happening very fast. We're, we're doing this in record time. They set up shop in this building, which was once a grain and flour mill. After months of hard work and some remodeling, they were ready to distill. And in case you're wondering, their beverage of choice, rum. Rum is really the most authentically American spirit. Uh, there are a lot of misconceptions about whiskey being the sort of uh, prototypical American drink, but really if you go back to the earliest days of the colonies, rum was the very first spirit in this country that was produced in any kind of quantity. And in the 1700s, Maryland actually had five rum distilleries. So to, to bring back that heritage um, and to produce something so authentic both to this country but also to, to Maryland was important to me. People have been to breweries, people have been to wineries, but if people still think that how, how liquor is made, it's, it's complete mystery. It's, it's like they think it's magic. So what's involved with making rum? Ben says it's based on sugar refinement. He uses three simple ingredients, molasses, cane sugar, and water. Basically, you start with your raw ingredients, your molasses and your sugar. Uh, you heat up your water, mix those ingredients in, and then add your yeast. The yeast, of course, does its job in about two or three days, fermenting it up to about 10% alcohol. At that point, you get what's called a rum wash, then it's on to the next step. All right, Ben, so this right here is called a still, and this is where the magic happens, so to speak, in the rum making process. Explain what this exactly does. All right, so we take the rum wash, which is about 10% alcohol, we put it into this, the boiler on this pot still, essentially then begin to heat it gently. So the alcohol vapor begins to rise out of the liquid, travels up through this column, hits the condenser, and recondenses into a liquid, flows out of the still at about 150 proof. And from there, Ben uses a hydrometer to measure the amount of alcohol in the rum, or proof as it's called. Since it's usually very strong at this point, he adds water to bring the level down a bit. Then the key moment, the rum is bottled a process that's all done by hand from the cork to the labeling. Nowadays, things that are handmade and local, organic, are very hot, very in. And I think people are throwing around those terms without actually having the, the true handmade quality behind them. So what's, what's nice about Lion Distilling is that everything is truly made here. What we sell here, we make here, step by step. A process they've been able to show people who come in for tastings and tours. Spirits are an interesting thing. I mean, there's literally nothing else in our lives that we, many people I should say, enjoy on such a frequent basis, but yet know so very little about. So I think for a lot of people to come and see how this all works, is really eye-opening and to also see it on a small scale where literally I'm the one here mixing the ingredients, doing the distilling, putting the labels on the bottles uh, is, a, is a really intriguing thing because people don't really know where these spirits come from, how they're made, what the process is like. So the next time you have a drink, specifically rum, you'll appreciate it that much more. As for Jamie and Ben, they'll continue a partnership that's enjoying the success of a distillery dream come true. I don't think I've ever been so happy in my whole life. It, it's still kind of a blur, but it was definitely uh, the biggest undertaking of my whole life, but one of the proudest moments I've ever had. And Ben told Brian that from the moment he mixes the ingredients to when the rum is bottled, it takes roughly a week to make depending on what kind they're making. Now, currently, Ben and Jamie are making three kinds of rum, white, seasonal, 
and barrel aged. Hmm, that is very interesting. Well, once you have your delicious drink, it's time for a delicious meal. So up next on Delmarva Life, we head to the kitchen to put one together. We are making mac and cheese with not one, but two twists. You need to stick around to see how it's done. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. <laughs> 